What's up, lads and scallywags? Anyway, in this video today, I want to get down to the root of it. I want to explain to you guys what the best time to work out is. We're going to break it down and make it super simple and show you guys the best way to build muscle and burn fat based on your workout timing. All right guys, before we dive into this video and get into all the juicy details, I wanna let you guys know that a lot of this comes from my personal experience as well as some well-documented research. So I wanna let you guys know this is coming from both sides of the field. It's our goal to build muscle and burn fat. There's a couple things that we're really gonna to wanna to keep in mind. The first thing that we're gonna look at is hormones. And there's two in particular that we're really gonna focus on. That's testosterone as well as cortisol. To keep things super simple, increasing our testosterone is gonna help us build more muscle, while lowering our cortisol is gonna help us shed more fat. All science suggests that cortisol is highest in the morning and tapers off throughout the afternoon, while on the flip side, the data suggests that testosterone is highest in the mid-afternoon area. If we can find a time where our testosterone is the highest and our cortisol is the lowest, that's gonna be an awesome time to work out. And that's pretty much the truth. Around four to five o'clock has been found to be the optimal time to work out. And besides just focusing on our hormones, there's also another critical point. In working out, we know that longevity is everything. We wanna be able to consistently work out, consistently make progress in the gym. But if we get injured, that's seriously gonna set us back. So to avoid injury, it's also been found that it's best to work out in the afternoon because our body's working at a higher core temperature. Essentially, this means that our muscles are gonna be loosened, we're not gonna be as tight, we're not gonna be as constricted, and therefore we're gonna have a much lower risk of injury, and in turn, we're gonna have more time to make some progress in the gym. So now that we have these two key points, we can put them together and come to the simple conclusion, the best time to work out is in the afternoon. But wait, the video is not over, because there's one more point I wanna get in before I end this, and that is that it's critical to find a time that works for you when you plan on going to the gym. Now, four to 5 p.m. might be optimal, but I realize that that's not gonna be optimal for every single person. So, if you don't have the means to get to the gym at those times, or it just doesn't work with your schedule, that's all right. The best, best time to work out is whenever you can fit it into your schedule. So, these are some key things that can be really helpful if you're able to wiggle them into your routine and if it works for you. If it doesn't work for your regimen, it's gonna be okay. You're still gonna make progress. Maybe it's just a little bit of a slower pace, but at that point, the difference is so negligible. What's important is that you're making it to the gym, that you're consistent, and that you're increasing the weight and you're working your ass off in the gym, and the results will follow. So that is the end of this short, quick, sweet, and delicious video. That was a weird outro, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Sumner Healy. This is Skinny Dude Fitness, the channel that is dedicated to helping skinny guys change their life and build an incredible physique. I will see you guys in the next video.